Well, it's a beautiful day in Laurelhurst. Beautiful tree-lined street. And this is 4134 Northeast Flanders Street. It is a three plus bedroom bungalow, features a two car detached garage, brand new roof, nice brick entryway, easy low maintenance shrubs. Beautiful red door, but not as beautiful as the freshly refinished hardwood floors, gas fireplace. Dining room with a nice archway, built-ins, stained glass, new lighting. Front door. Hallway back to two bedrooms. One with hardwoods and a slider out to the rear deck. Another bedroom with brand new carpeting in it. All rooms have fresh paint. Bathroom on the main features a large soap tub with a shower sprayer, beautiful stained glass window, double sinks, which are pretty cool. Here's the other one. This cabinet space. Nice tile work. Again, still in the hallway. There's the living room entry. Stairs to the upper. There's that bedroom with the hardwood and the bedroom with the carpet. Let's go upstairs. More beautiful hardwoods, we finished recently. There's a set of three closets. It's east facing upstairs. Another closet. Inside of this cabinet is A whole house exhaust fan. How cool is that? And then coming up the landing, you can see where the landing is. And this would be the master bedroom. Nice tall vaulted ceilings with a skylight. Yeah. Small half bath over here, just the right size. And a walk in closet as well. Back out to the landing, which could easily be converted into an additional space for the master, maybe make a big master bath walk-in closet combo. So the whole upstairs would be a lovely master retreat. And let's go back down the stairs. And there's the main level bath. <coughs> And on to the kitchen, which features some beautiful hickory cabinetry. It's a very spacious, spacious kitchen. Nice long counters, garden window, 
smooth top range, double ovens, built-in microwave, over the cabinet lighting, and a really cool feature. This has pantry space here with rotating out cupboards so you don't have to bury your canned goods way in the back and then forget about them. Double pair of tall cabinets there. Smooth top range. Beautiful white brick tile backsplash recently done. <clears throat> and landing to the back porch area to the double car garage covered patio as well as the um, deck that's elevated and not covered and a nice private backyard. And then we've got stairs leading down into the basement which is partially finished. And a nice spacious family room that could in fact double as a non-conforming fourth bedroom. It features a lovely Murphy bed that folds up into a cabinet for when you're not needing to use it. Tile floors. More cabinet space on that side of the room. And there's the stairs leading up from the basement. And we have hallway. with nice big storage room here off to the side bathroom at the end of the hall complete with a jetted bathtub shower and tiled counter sink nice wood walls and then we have, we have the utility room nice basin near hot water heater and gas furnace with an electronic air filter deck work looks relatively newer Lots of space on this side for fridges, freezers, security system, and additional storage. Lots and lots of shelves. And a built-in vacuum cleaner. doors to this family room can in fact slide and close. Murphy bed again. Lights out. And back up the landing to the kitchen. Just another view of the kitchen from the south side. <clears throat> and back around to the dining room and living room. So that about sums up the main components of the house. <clears throat>